Welcome to Whiskey's a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and you guys are watching Sip It or Skip It. This is my channel segment where I have all of my whiskeys randomized onto my phone. 200 plus whiskeys in my collection. I'm gonna spin the wheel, see what it selects, pull it off the shelf, give it a quick review, and let you guys know if I'm gonna keep sipping on the bottle and replacing it when it's gone, or once the bottle's gone, I'm gonna skip it and move on to something else. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. All right, we've got Green Spot Chateau Montalena. Let me grab this off the shelf. It's actually in the container. Let me pop it out of the container, pour it, and get the review going. All right, so for whatever reason, most of the whiskeys that I have, I've thrown away the containers. I don't know why I'm, I'm keeping the Green Spots or the Spot Whiskey containers. But uh, looking at the top, I got this at Total Wine & More, $99.99. Chateau Montalena. Made sure I grabbed the right one. All of the information for the whiskey is right here, as well as my past sip it or skip it tallies. Green spot on the nose is phenomenal. You have that bright Irish pot still shortbread cookie note to it. I do get a little bit of green apple. It's a crisp nose. It's probably a good way to describe it. Very crisp, very bright. The Spot whiskeys are probably one of my favorite series of whiskeys, with the exception of Gold Spot. All right, there is a little bit of an undetectable note that's much different than the other green spots. And that must be the Chateau Montalena. That must be the cask influence here. So this is finished in Zinfandel wine casks. And maybe that undisclosed note could be the Zinfandel. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yeah, absolutely. All those traditional Irish pot still flavors are there. The buttery shortbread cookie or shortbread biscuit. It has really good sweetness. The ABV, 46, 46% ABV. Nice warming in the chest, nice mouthfeel. I wouldn't say overly viscous, but it does coat the inside of the mouth. It's a medium finish. Let's get that second sip going. Yeah, that second sip, I get a little bit of the barrel. Definitely get that Zinfandel wine finish to it. As I was breathing in, I ended up getting very, very floral notes, but the floral note was just in the scent. It didn't, it didn't really transfer over into the palate. If you haven't experienced Irish pot still whiskeys, I would definitely give Green Spot a try. Maybe not jumping directly into the Chateau Montalena or the, the Louisville Bataan. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. They're back there. Maybe ease into the pot stills with the Green Spot or even maybe a Red Breast 12 the non-cast strength. That will give you an idea of what the traditional Irish pot still whiskey is all about. Yeah, buttery, a little bit of honey, a little bit of floral. I have light green apple. Let's get that third sip out of the way. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I have my decision. So let's go ahead and let you guys know my final thoughts before I let you know if it's a sip or a skip. It's a crisp, bright Irish pot still whiskey. That Zinfandel barrel finish is definitely there on the palate. Medium finish. The viscosity of it is definitely coating my mouth. I'm not getting a whole lot of barrel bite. It doesn't develop into anything more than the initial sip or the second sip that I'm getting to me, which means it's not very complex. It's pretty much one note. That's what I'm getting. Now, as far as a sip or a skip, even though I am a fan of this, this is going to be a skip for me. Once this bottle is gone, I am not going to look out to replace the Chateau Montalena. Now, if by chance Green Spot or the Spot whiskeys come out with a different type of cask finish, maybe I'll dabble in it a little bit. Maybe I'll try to, to seek it out. But as far as me right now, the Chateau Montalena is a skip for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you're liking this information, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification, share this with somebody in the whiskey world that might get enjoyment out of it. If you're familiar with any of the spot whiskeys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Is it a sip or a skip for you? And with all that being said, that's where I'm going to leave it. Enjoy your journey. See you guys next time. Bye.